and I'm not going to be out of the game. I'm going to be back at work. I'm going to work like every other police officer, and I'm going to keep serving my community. Tonight, a Miami police officer who survived a devastating accident says he is determined to get back to work. Officer Mario Gonzalez lost both of his legs in a motorcycle crash, and as you're about to see, watching his journey is not for the faint of heart. For the very first time, he is showing us his recovery and telling us why he says it's a miracle he's alive. CBS 4's Carly Barnett has the story of Mario Strong. You're alive. There's a chance. Is it? It's that simple. That is the motivated attitude that Miami officer Mario Gonzalez says keeps him persevering. Yeah. Saved my life. After a motorcycle crash, he is alive to tell his story, but now he's learning how to live again without his legs. Uh, there's been a lot of changes adapting. Uh, uh, you see, I don't know if you see the skateboards over there. Those are mine. I'm going to ride them again. The accident happened while he was off duty back on February 3rd here on 8th Street near Chrome Avenue. The car in front of him came to an abrupt stop and while he slowed down, the vehicle behind him didn't, pushing him into oncoming traffic. He was hit by a car head on. I was like this without my legs. I had all kinds of metals in my waist and stuff coming out of my chest. So it was a big shock and, and it gets you down. You know, so so you that's that's the low point, you know, and that's when the when the people around you get you going again. You know, that's when the friends and family, the people have been through it, and they showed you, hey, you can still go on. He says it's nothing short of a miracle that he's here today. Responding officers applied tourniquets to each leg, but his injuries were so severe he was still losing a lot of blood and fast. The motorcycle catches fire. That's when he says something amazing happened. This gentleman, um, he sees the smoke and he gets in his car and he drives 13 miles to the accident scene. He had been taking training, life-saving, uh, how to use a tourniquet, and he had a tourniquet in the car, and that probably saved my life. So now he wants to share the message that whatever you may be going through, the story isn't over. I think as human beings, we're supposed to change and adapt, and, and you just have to do it. Uh, otherwise, you'll be out of the game, and I'm not going to be out of the game. I'm going to be back at work. I'm going to work like every other police officer, and I'm going to keep serving my community. His family and law enforcement family have been by his side, his wife Erica and his two daughters. Officers and people in the community have been showing their support through blood drives, fundraisers, all to be strong for Mario. You can't thank people enough for the support. I hope I could say thank you when they see me standing, when they see me working again. Now he's in the process of getting prosthetics, but as I learned, not just any ones will do. Your main concern is that they're waterproof because you might have to save somebody in the water? Uh, yeah, of course. You know, we got the Miami River or uh, through some of the areas that we work and Key Biscayne. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, you know, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Hey, I might have to get in there. Thinking of how he can help others even while he's still in need of help himself, a true heart of service for his community. Things happen, sometimes you don't really know why. Maybe there's something more to me, we'll see. Carly Barnett, CBS4 News. Officer Gonzalez says he can start practicing using prosthetic legs next month while he continues with his physical therapy. Right now, they're waiting on insurance before he can get the ones he needs. Meantime, the accident is still under investigation by the Miccosukee Police Department. It just leaves you speechless. It's so inspirational to see his recovery and to see that determination and attitude, and I'm sure he's going to be back out there. And his desire to serve, his desire to continue working as a police officer and serve the public is just amazing. Yeah, we're lucky yeah. to have him here in South Florida. And a GoFundMe page has been set up to help pay for Officer Gonzalez's many medical expenses. We've posted a link to donate on our website, cbsmiami.com.